everyone to this week's lap guide. So here we are back again in the GT3, um, Porsche GT3, around the Red Bull ring. So this is going to be a dry lap and then I'll tack on to the end of the lap guide a uh, wet lap just so you can see how the lines change and the braking points and whatnot. But anyway, let's crack on with this uh, dry soft lap and see how we do it. So coming into turn one, getting all the way to the left here, it'll be a common theme you'll see throughout. but. Yeah, just about now, about 110, 120 metres on the brakes. And trailing it off to the apex. Using second gear here, just because you want to maintain traction. If you cut, uh, go down into the first, you can get um, the risk of a uh, bulk wheel spin coming out of turn one here. So, just leave it in second. Focus on getting a nice exit up the hill. And away we go to start the lap. So again, coming into turn two. All the way to the left, um, yeah, about 120, you can already see I'm transitioning now, so 120 metres again, on the brakes, hard, and then trailing it off, down the first, watch the throttle here, just watch as I build it up as I come to the, um, the corner exit, but yeah, using that sausage to square off the corner and get a nice run. A little bit of a break to check out the view before you come down the hill again. So this is where, yeah, probably 130 metres, 140 metres this, this one, I'm already on the brakes here. Um, some people like to use the green for here, some people don't, so just, yeah, do what you need to do to get the corner right. But remember you're going downhill, so just a little bit easier on the brakes here, because um, look at that sand pitch straight ahead of you. Anyway, so trailing it off, down in the first, hit the apex, watch that throttle input, bring it on, bring it on, and then up in the second, away you go. Pulling in the rubber line. Again, out onto the green stuff, just a little dab, no big break point for this one, just enough to slow the car down a little bit and get the weight on the front tyres, but yeah, 50-60% and then off again, second gear to get the car into the apex. Keep that flow going nice, use all the run out and then yeah, as this green curbing is about to finish, just a little dab of the brakes again to get that weight on the front end. Down the second if you need to, or you can leave it in third, it's up to you, I don't really find either way uh, works good, so make sure you maintain that good flow and uh, yeah about the 70 meter board just on the brakes uh, about 50 60 percent you don't want the rear sliding down to third get up on the curbs out as much as you can this is probably right on the edge of track limits here so just be careful this is where a lot of people get their penalties so basically get out here then straight line it and then just before the little yellow um, little sausage is coming up on the brakes again just a little bit to go down the second, get a nice drive onto the pitch straight, and there you have it a lap around the Red Bull Ring. So you see the second splits come up, and uh, now um, do the old lap without me talking just so you can watch the, the brake and throttle um, inputs a lot, um, a bit closer and uh, smoother. But yeah, stick around after that for the, the wet lap that I'll put onto the end of it just so you can see how the, everything just changes just that little bit. So General rule of thumb is car car one um, just one meter inside the racing line, um, or one car's width to the right or left, depending where the racing line is, and then braking about probably say 40 to 50 meters earlier out here should give you good um, a good guide for the wet. But yeah, anyway, cheers, good luck, and uh, again, have fun.